want to take just a little bit of time here to go over how the dual filter adapter works. Some people have had a lot of questions about it or the people who don't understand at least how it works. We're going to go over that real quick. Uh, first of all, let's just talk about how the regular filtration system works. So you have a, a reverse airflow cap and that has these little openings on the back of the cap where the air is able to pass in to the cap and then after it is passed in through those it just goes straight through the filter and right through the mouthpiece basically. Um, the thing is you can double the amount of filters but you still have the same surface area to pull air through so basically if you double the filters you double the amount of effort it takes to get air into the mask. Alright so now let's talk about how the, the actual filter doubler works. Now this is a little more complicated. Um, up here at the top we have the, the cap uh, this yellow layer right here, this is one of the makeup pads, so this is, uh, we'll call this filter one. This purple thing here, this is the actual doubler, the actual uh, adapter. The second yellow thing down here is the second makeup pad. And then this green thing is an insert that goes inside that, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, this blue part down here, of course, is the actual mask. So let's look at how this works. So again, just like before, air goes through this, the cap, just like before. It comes down through the first makeup pad and it goes into this top chamber of the uh, doubler adapter. Okay, So it goes into this top chamber. You'll notice there's a solid line here in the middle of filament that prevents the air from mixing with the second makeup pad. So it goes through the first makeup pad into the top chamber and then it goes down these side air chambers and this is where it has to get through the insert. So that's why the insert has these cutouts in it. And they actually turned it a little bit. That's why it looks weird. But the insert has these cutouts in it to let the air pass through there. The insert is pushing up on this second one, on the second makeup pad, to create a seal there so that the air doesn't go through and mix with that air. So it's coming through here and it's going straight into the um, straight into the mouthpiece. So kind of like before, air going through one one filter straight into the mouthpiece. And then what happens is on the side of the of the adapter, you have these other vents. That lets air come into the second floor, the second chamber here, and go straight through this air, uh, this this makeup pad. So essentially, what you've done is you've doubled the amount of surface area you have. So you have the surface area up here and the surface area down here. Now, if you actually print this and use it, what you'll notice if you use this side by side with the uh, just a cap and a makeup filter without the the app of the the doubler, is this is about twice as easy to breathe. And because of that, you can actually double the makeup pads. So you can put two on top, two on the bottom. And it's, it's the same amount of effort to breathe through these four pads as it was before um, with just one pad. And the reason is, yes, you've doubled the amount of makeup pads on each layer, but you've also doubled the surface area. So this is how this works. Um, you know, if you were to just simply say, you know what, let's, let's go back here and let's just... Um, Let's just do this where we put two pads, one on top of each other. The problem with that is it's so hard to pull air through. Um, it, it makes the mask, I'm not going to say it makes it useless, but it makes it a lot more difficult to use. So if you want that additional protection, what you want to do is go ahead and, and print out the doubler. Um, I, I, I hope this makes sense. I know it's a pretty complex piece, um, but if you just print it out and try it, I think you'll, I think you'll be pretty happy with it. Thanks.